Hey folks, Ariel over here. This was an interesting visitor we had in our yard the other day. Our place is fully fenced, and this young bull moose decided to jump it. And about as soon as he did, he decided he did not actually want to be in a yard with people, a couple dogs, cats, chickens, and proceeded to wander around, promptly trying to figure out how he could get out again, which was fortunate because we really don't want a moose in here eating down our orchard and garden and so on. But it was fascinating to get to see him trot around. You can see his little teeny antlers. He's a very young bull still in velvet but he is starting to grow little antlers when he walked around a rooster pen it was really funny they didn't seem scared of him at all they wanted to walk over and check him out they were very curious and kept craning their necks at what kind of a big gangly legged critter this was anyway after about a minute he'd had enough of that and hopped his way back out so hopefully he stays out or he might have to add a hot wire to our fence but uh, that was interesting to see moose are cool creatures There's so much new growth this year. Yeah, there. Underneath. Oh, I see one there. Hold it up. Keep early. It's kind of laying on the ground. Well, that's the way they are. There's a lot of them are over, right? There's one. Yeah, they're really hard to see. This is a... Uh, very stealth plant. Look at here. So this bush that Clay's working on, oh, that's a good shot, is called a honeyberry. They're a lot like a blueberry, except they're kind of, the berry's kind of oblong and a little bit more like rectangular than round. Show me them in your hand. Yeah. Um, this bush I originally had planted up in my clearing, if you guys have been following me that long. It was small. I don't think it got enough sunlight. And I'd only ever made a berry or two, primarily because these require a fellow bush to pollinate, and I never got more than one planted. Well, this spring, we got this guy. It's been growing like mad, as you can see. It's a beautiful bush, even if you just need a round landscape bush. But we got it a couple of friends over here in our lineup. That's another variety. It pollinates best with different varieties. Down there near where Tana's walking, there's another one. They're small yet. They just were planted less than a month ago. But we actually have berries this year, which is exciting. They taste a lot like a blueberry. Is that how you would describe them? Mm -hmm. yep. Little bit of yeah, that. Oh, nice. A little bit of that, you know, if it's not quite ripe, it has a little bit of the tart, you know, kind of edge to it like a blueberry. And when they are ripe, they're really sweet. Now these are hiding pretty good because they grow on last year's wood. So all these beautiful growth of new tips, like that thing is new from there on out. Um, some of them are shorter tips, like from there up is new this year. So the berries are hiding behind all that growth, but this is pretty exciting. And the main reason you guys might want to consider this to grow is not because you like crawling on your knees to pick berries, but they are delicious. They're very much like a blueberry. They're extremely cold hardy if you're in a cold place. And, um, you know, if you aren't aware, we live a little over 6,000 feet above sea level in the Wyoming mountains, mountains right back there. And we get winter about eight months a year and freezes and snow through the summer as well. Oh, your arm is holding some there that I can see from this angle. Most berry picking requires you to look at multiple angles. Um, see more down here. Anyway, they are, blueberries are a fairly touchy plant to grow, it's always seemed to me. They're really picky about what acid level their soil is and so on. My parents grew some when I was growing up. They never seem to really do well. Oh, here's a really big one. Um, they just always seemed finicky. This is not a finicky plant. It was planted in acidic pine woods with not enough sun. Then it was planted out here in brilliant sun with heavily um, calcium soil and being choked by quackgrass. And it grew in both those places and it makes lovely fruit. It doesn't seem particular at all. Like I said, even if you just want it as a landscape thing and want to let the birds eat the berries, look at what a beautiful, like we haven't pruned this thing at all. What a beautiful, just dense mound of a bush it makes. 
Anyway, that's honeyberries. If you've never heard of them, you might want to look them up and consider planting some. So that's a quick look at a plant that is very hardy in our climate. It can tolerate a range of climates, so you might like it too, but it's super tough if you're in a cold area like us. Thanks for spending your valuable time with us. I hope you learned something interesting and useful. Or found something beautiful here.